Welcome to the social space, baby. I don't know where he I woke know. up this morning. I don't either, but I'm glad I did wake up. Thank you again, God, for no that. No kidding. Jackie Hager, nice right to there. See you. Andrew Bell, right there. Yes. Jeannie Hilbert's right here. Yes. I'm Chris Horgan. We are the social space today. Yes. And we got to thank our sponsors because we live them. Our friends at Four Stars Auto mm -hmm. in Henrietta. And Jackie will have a cool fun fact for us in just a moment. We hope. You got one? Of course I do. Of course you did. <laughs> Our friends at Falls Truck Center, always fantastic. News Channel 6, which allows us to air this on Sunday nights and bring it right into your home so we can hear Andrew Bell laugh. There you go. That's all I bring to the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. The first one. Click. There's a clicker going yeah. on somewhere. And our great friends at Town Square Media who let us uh, be on AM 1290 on Saturday. So we really appreciate everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lots of yes. applause. Lots of applause. All right. So let's just get into it. Let's We're going to dig right in. Yes. Jeannie. Idea WF, what a great concept this was years ago. It has grown and grown and grown and gone crazy. Tell us about how you got involved in it. Well, for most of, well, Jackie knows, and you probably know too, I started out as uh, the director of the Small Business Development Center. So for years, I was on that side of the desk helping people who came in, wanted to open up their own business, didn't know how to do that, mm -hmm. walk them through the steps. And then I was lured away into commercial lending. Mm -hmm. And so I became a commercial lender. So I sat on the other side of the desk and I was still dealing with small business owners, people who were uh, trying to write a business plan. At that point, they were trying to write the plan to convince me to loan them the money. Um, and so then I, I, I kind of retired out, out, out of being a commercial lender, uh, work from home now, uh, husband has a couple of businesses, we do that. And then I just got a call that said, hey, we'd like a part-time person to come and sole focus be on Idea WF so that nothing gets dropped. All the attention can be on Idea WF uh, while the program is running. And it was just a perfect fit for me because I had the small business development experience. I had the commercial lending experience. I love working with people. It is, it, this is my third year to come back to yeah. do Idea WF. And it's just great to be able to meet the people and help them again and walk them through the steps. So I'm glad to be there, glad to be back part of Midwestern. You've, you've got the trifecta. Yes. Because you've got the lending experience, yep. the SBDC part, and your husband is a business owner. There you go. So I'm, you've QuickBooks. Seen I'm QuickBooks. I'm QuickBooks at home. Doing my <laughs> I'm doing the 1099s. I'm sending out the W-4s. I'm all that. So I, I can relate to a small business sure. owner that, you know, we don't have an HR department. They're probably not going to have an mm -hmm. HR department. So uh, my husband and I do wear several hats on each day. And so I think I, I can relate with them. You're so, perfect for the job. Yeah. I That's think you're right. Yeah. So, so I'm a new business owner, or I have this idea in mind, I sign up for the program. So what's included in the program? The and program, you'd come to orientation first. There's okay. six orientations, um, so those are free to attend. And you come and we spend an hour and a half telling you exactly what's involved in the program. Okay. But there are six different workshops, mm -hmm. and it's really a great value. The registration for the program is $2.95, but you get six workshops with that. Wow. You get how to write a business plan, how to understand financial statements, mm -hmm. how to do pro forma statements, how to do projections. Jackie will host a marketing workshop. You'll, we'll go over how to pitch a plan. So we're really trying to educate that person on how to be a small business owner. Um, and, and to me, if you were gonna sit down with your CPA for one hour, you would spend probably the 295. But we're gonna go through things like, oh, you need a delivery van for the, for the business. How does that affect your financial statements, uh -huh. okay? If you're gonna get money at the bank, the banker wants to see this on your financial statements, mm -hmm. okay? You buy the delivery truck, this is what Im how it impacts your financial statement. Mm -hmm. And we just go through all of that. And for most people, no one has ever sat down with them to say, you buy the truck, here's how it's gonna impact you. Right. You hire an employee, here's how it's gonna impact you. Mm -hmm. um, just different things like that, so it's really, a lot of great information to help them. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to forecast their sales. So we'll go through and say, okay, uh, none of us are good enough that on month one, we're gonna hit 100% of our sales go. Uh -huh. So we're gonna talk through, how do you ramp up your sales? Is it gonna take you six months to reach your goal? Is it gonna take you eight months? Are you cyclical and seasonal? So we're gonna be really heavy in the summer and slow in the winter or vice versa. So we're gonna go through all of that and build their specific cash flow projections. And then they know how much do I have to spend? Can I afford a bank loan? 
can I afford a new delivery truck? Yeah. So um, I know we're going to keep you for the whole show today because we have so much information to share. But before we go to our first break, tell us how many years has Idea WF been around? And this is a business competition uh, for both sides of the spectrum, people who are wanting to begin a business mm -hmm. and people who are wanting to grow their business. I think it's important that our listeners and our viewers mm -hmm. understand that. So you can already be in business sure. and still throw your hat into the arena. Absolutely. So how long has Idea WF been around? Around 12 years. We had to cancel two years because of COVID. So sure. but about 12 years we've had the competition, if you will. Um, and so um, it is a competition and it's a business plan competition. But what we say now is when it originally started, it truly was just a business plan competition. Got they it. would have a couple of workshops on how to write a business plan. They would help the contestants with their market research and things like that. But that business plan competition has grown in to what we call now the little mini course on owning your own business with uh -huh. those six programs. So it still is a business competition. We're gonna have a panel of judges, five judges, and they're gonna view and, and um, rate those business plans to see who's gonna go on to the final round and ultimately who's gonna be a winner. This year, the cash prizes will be $50,000, all wow. cash. Let's stop there for a second, 50? thousand dollars yes Ooh. in cash no in-kind prizes it's all cash wow. and those businesses wow. if they need the delivery truck maybe that's they can afford to buy the delivery truck or maybe sure. it's a down payment of the delivery truck and what Jackie asked a minute ago is it's absolutely for both kinds of businesses if you're a startup and you think I just don't know where to start come see us if you think okay I've done steps one two and three I filed for my DBA I filed for my tax mm -hmm. um, ID number but I really don't know how to set up my marketing I don't know how to set up my QuickBooks come see us we can help you there and then absolutely maybe I'm in business and I think you know I have this business model over here but I'm ready to expand maybe uh -huh. I'm gonna uh, go into a different line maybe I'm just gonna expand what I'm currently doing they're eligible for their competition as well. I love that. Ooh. All right, we are going to take a quick break, but yes. before we do, Jackie, we need our four stars fun fact. Well, I don't know if you guys were at the pancake feed this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, we had <laughs> two pancake flippers from Four Stars Auto Ranch, uh, and that was Gene Klinkerman and Mark Havens. And I'm going to tell you something. They flipped more pancakes almost in the history. I believe it was a record-breaking year for the wow. pancake feed. Awesome. When I left, the cars were all the way down and wrapped around in front of the new hotel mm -hmm. and all the way down to impact just to get in to park to eat pancakes. I'm dying to know how much money they raised. Yeah, we're going to have to find out. Yeah, let's we'll make let's some phone out. calls and we'll yeah. find out. We're so not going to find four out stars. today, but they, yes. yeah, thank you four stars and thanks for everybody for going to that. University yes. of Qantas does great things for our community. Amen. Yep. All right, great. stay with us. We're going to talk more with Jeannie about ideas. Yes. Ideas light bulbs right after this. Stay with us. Arrivals <laughs> coming in every week at Four Stars Auto Ranch. You get more for your trade and award winning satisfaction from Four Stars Auto Ranch. Experience commitment here at Four Stars Auto. It's a social space. Jeannie Hilbert is with us yes. from yes. IDWF. I'm Chris. That's Jackie. There's Andrew. Tell us a little bit about this. We want to talk about this money and this yes. prize money because that's that's a that's a lot that's a lot of money. It's a yeah. lot of money. And um, in the past years and years ago, we gave prizes as in-kind services, mm -hmm. and that 
um, was a great thing, but it we've kind of moved to just cash. That way the business owner can use the cash for whatever they need, whether it's legal services, an accountant, whether it's marketing, whether it's new equipment, whatever they need that money for, mm -hmm. they can use it for that. And so no matter what stage they're at, they can always use cash. Yeah. So the last time that we had the program, we raised $32,000, and that was just from local businesses and people in the community. And this year we have committed that we're gonna raise $50,000 of prize money. And all of that money will be given away to the contestants. Wow. And, uh, so how may, will that 50000 be broken down? We don't know. It'll depend on how many people sign up, ah, how many people the judges. Again, the judges come into play to say they may have two finalists, they may have three finalists, they may have five finalists. So what will happen is they'll write their business plan, the judges will critique those and decide how many go on to the finals. Then those finalists make a pitch, kind of like um, mm -hmm. Shark Tank? Yes, a, yeah. it's a nice version of Shark Tank. <laughs> it's a friendly <laughs> version of Shark Tank. And um, so they'll do an oral presentation um, to the judges and then that's how the winner will be selected. So I can't tell you it's gonna be one winner, two winners, or three winners, but the 50,000 will be shared among the winners uh -huh. uh, based on the judges. Wow. Yeah. Well, I think it's important for uh, the viewers and the listeners to understand that you've made one tweak this year, back to way to er in the early years how it used to happen. So you're telling us that if you are in the service industry, or the retail industry. This is a good business competition to enter. It is. Um, a couple of years we got real complicated because of the way our funding was and we focused on this primary job and it just became a lot to try to define what a primary job is and do you qualify, do you not qualify. So we've just kind of gone back to the roots of the program to mm -hmm. say we're here to help small businesses period. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what sector, it doesn't matter what NAIC code you are and all of that. If you're a business in the Wichita Falls MSA, it's no longer the city of Wichita Falls. Oh, so that gosh. means it could be Wichita County, Archer County, or Clay County. If you're going to open a business or you yeah. are a business in one of those counties, then you're eligible to join. And it doesn't matter what kind of business that you're Very that you cool. have. Now, mm -hmm. we still all love job creation. As a city gal, you love job creation, sure. but that is not a defining requirement for you to enter the program that you have to be creating this primary jobs. So the companies will be based on uh, their unique uh, type of business that they're creating, the need for the kind of business. You know, are you the fifth one to enter your market? Are you a new idea? Are you doing something different and you're bringing that to the table? All of those are what the judges will be basing their decisions on, not necessarily just how many jobs are you Gosh, going to Gosh, I think it's important to get the word out that yeah. any business mm -hmm. can enter. Yes. And any new business mm -hmm. can enter, that yes. the stipulations have become very clean and simple this yes. year. Uh -huh. Now, an existing business does need to be going through an expansion. Okay. And it, that, may, but it, it could be. We we talked a couple of times about the delivery truck. Uh -huh. It could be that maybe I've just been a, a a business that people have to walk into my business, and now I am expanding into delivery or service. That's an expansion. So yes, you would be eligible to come and enter the competition. Yeah. Wow. So so how do they even get started again? Remind well, we've everyone. had one orientation. Our second orientation is going to be Tuesday, 530, Dillard College of Business, room 131. All of that is on our website. It's also on our Facebook. So I would encourage them to visit your viewers and your listeners to um, go there for all the details. But they need to come to an orientation so that they get to listen to me talk about all of the details. What do you get? What do you get for that money? Uh -huh. What are you going to leave with? What are the requirements that we have on you? Well, I want you to attend the workshops, if at all possible, so that you gain that knowledge. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go through like, okay, you're gonna write a draft business plan, you're gonna give it to me, I'm gonna critique it, I'm gonna give it back to you. And then we're gonna go through all the dates of when the final business plan is gonna be, when the judges are gonna meet. Um, the deadline to enter is March 1st. So we'll have six orientations, one has passed, so we have five remaining orientations. Mm -hmm. They need to attend one of those, mm -hmm. and then their paperwork will be due March 1st. What paperwork, you say? Well, there's a little short application. There's an investor fact sheet so that you can tell me who are the owners of your business. 
then we also want to see what your credit score is. That's kind of a dirty word sometimes, but if you want me to help you figure out how can you get money for your business? Are you eligible for a bank loan? Are you eligible for that? I kind of need to know what your credit look like, what your cash flow look like. So that's one of the pieces that we ask. So those three documents and then a $295 application fee. So all of those things are due March 1st. So I'd like to go back. That paperwork is not super overwhelming no, to be done by March no. 1st. One is a one page and one's a two page. And it's just really asking you what kind of business are you wanting? Who's your target market? Have you been in business before? If so, what are your sales uh -huh. historical? So it's just real easy. And those are out there on our website, but it's not going to take someone very long to fill that out because I want to help train you and then you fill out the paperwork better. Yeah. So. Well, I think there's lots of people out there that have an idea that they've always wanted to own their own business. So maybe this is the time to submit those three sheets of paper. It sure is, yes. Or those that want to expand their business. So uh, even if it's not you, you may have a son or a daughter or a neighbor or someone that you know that's been talking about beginning a new business. Sure. So I love it that it's retail friendly this year as well as service friendly. Because yes. retailers really need a lot of help today, they do. especially with this online world that we live with. It's great to support both items and the fact that it's Wichita, Archer, and Clay County mm -hmm. businesses. Yes, ma'am. A lot of changes this year. That's great, yes. Jeannie. All those are just going back to the roots of the program. Mm -hmm. And really, it just comes down to we want to help small businesses. That's the bottom line. Yeah. So if there's something we can do with like the training, uh -huh. I think that's really priceless. Um, you know, we had somebody speak the other day that wasn't even a winner the last time they went through, but they were still singing the praises of the program because they learned so much going through the program that they wouldn't have gained otherwise unless they went back for their MBA or they signed up for some online courses. So these are in-person workshops. They're two hours a piece. Um, I'll be teaching those as well as Jackie. We'll maybe get one other person to come in for mm -hmm. some of the pro forma workshops. But um, I have an accounting background. Like I said, I'm a small business owner myself. And so I just really try to make it relate to them. We answer their questions. Uh, we have the help of the Small Business Development Center. So when it's time for them to do their business plan and they need market research, we have the SBDC mm -hmm. helping us pull that data from them mm -hmm. uh, for them. So uh, it really, I just can't emphasize it enough, it's a good deal. Everybody it really wins. is a good deal. Everybody wins. I they agree. might win cash. I agree. Yeah, it, it is a, it is a, a win. win win for everybody because it's just does nothing going through the process. It really strengthen you yes. as a business owner and get you it's, out of those spots where you're like, it's yeah. it's it's scary to be a business build owner. Connection. <laughs> you build the connection with other people in the room. Sure. It's amazing that, you know, you have 15, 20, 30 people going through this program and then when they need marketing, they think, oh, well, I got to know that person that was in the class for marketing. Oh, well, I need a sign mate. Oh, I know somebody that makes it. it it's a great networking tool yeah. for them. Yep. It really is. I love it. Well, there we are. I love it. I'm excited. I did <laughs> <WF. laughs> I'm excited. So when's the next one again? Tuesday. Tuesday uh, at the small business. At upstairs. Or upstairs at the Dillard College yes. of Business. Yes, it's not upstairs. It's downstairs room 131 okay. at 530 on Tuesday. I'm excited. IdeaWF.com. That's yes. the place to go. There you go. Jeannie, thank you for thank being Thank you with for us. letting me be here. We're coming back in just a minute to talk city stuff. So stay right there. Summer always seems like it'll last forever. Until it doesn't. Yeah, I guess it's that time of year again. Don't be caught off guard. Get ahead of the problem. Let James Lane make sure your unit's ready for 91 day. And 30 the next. Be ready for anything and everything with James Lane Air Conditioning and Plumbing. When you need us, we're there. Medicare can be confusing. That's why it's important to have a locally born and raised expert to help you understand all your options. I'm Colby Mustaco, and I'm ready to serve you. Medicare changes every year, and that's why it's important to review the changes annually. I understand that everyone's needs are different. That's why I work hard to tailor a plan specifically for you, your family, and your lifestyle. That's the Pistaka way, more personal, more thoughtful, and more trusted. Four incredible radio stations. That's who we are. We are Town Square Media, and we bring the best of radio to the North Texas area. Wake up early with News Talk 1290. 
that's us. How about Kelly Raspberry on 92.9 NIN? Yep, that's us. Bringing you the best of country with 102.3 The Bull. That's us. And rocking it all day long with 106.3 The Buzz. That's us. We are Town Square Media, and we're proud to be a sponsor of The Social Space. With two generations of experience, this is what we do. We make sure your waste material is recycled the right way. Bring us your old batteries, that junk car, and yeah, even that old washer and dryer. We are the leaders in scrap metal recycling. We are Bell Processing. Welcome back, everybody. I was trying to do something really stupid yeah. right before we come back. So I get both of them laughing. And we are. It's a small minute here, and we do it quick. All right, it is this, it's the city space now. Yes. And we're going to talk about a cool project that is underway, and we're going to show you some video of it and some pictures um, because it's really kind of cool the way it's done. But the, the city is spending $3 million, a little over $3 million, on turf at the softball complex. And so there's eight fields at the softball complex. Four of them will all be turf now, which means if it sprinkles at two o'clock in the afternoon, they don't have to cancel the six o'clock games. You're still gonna get to play, whether it's kickball or whether you're playing rec softball or whether there's tournaments out there. So it is a big, big deal that they were able to spend this money and able to get this done because they're already booking tournaments for the spring. That's awesome. And I mean, it's gonna be done, it's supposed to be done next month. I believe it's on schedule, it's on budget. The people doing it are amazing. And uh, let's talk dirt for a second, because this is super cool. They had to take a lot of dirt out to, to, they had to dig fields. down, yeah. and then they have to put drainage in and gravel and all this stuff. So they had to move a whole lot of dirt. Uh -huh. Well, the parks department's getting the dirt. So okay. the parks department is not gonna to have to buy dirt for like a year, Wow. which is like a million dollars. That's I mean, a they, lot. I mean, it, it's, I mean, they they use a lot of dirt, you know, a lot of stuff, and on streets and stuff when they have to re-level, they dig, they whatever. But they don't have, they're not going to have to use dirt. Yeah. That's just a sidebar of this awesome turf thing going on. But they, it's going to what I think the big thing is it's a revenue generator. Mm -hmm. It's going to be sure. better for rec because I mean I remember playing rec softball and you have an eight o'clock game and at two o'clock it sprinkles for three minutes and they call all the games off <laughs> because it rained and you're just like. Oh, so that's not going to happen anymore. Yeah. You, it can rain heavily at 2 o'clock, and your 8 o'clock game is going to be fine because all that water is going to drain off and be gone, and you'll still be good. So let's remind everyone where this softball complex is. Okay, softball complex is Shepherd Access Road and Maureen Street. Okay. Um, it's, there's two big areas. Plum Lake is Plum right in the middle of it. Um, it's where they have the kid fishing rodeos every year, and they do cool stuff out there. But there are grass fields. It's going to be toward the south, so the southern part is grass fields and then the northern part's going to be the turf and it is it's just the trans it, they started doing it long before thanksgiving i think we started doing a time lapse of it and it it has taken forever because again they had to move all that dirt and then they had to just slowly start building everything back up with the layers of the of the drainage and then there's a sealant that goes down and then there's all this gravel and then they put the turf on and it's got to be perfect and mm -hmm. it the crazy thing it has to all be level yeah so they've got sure lasers running all over the place to keep it level it's just it's just and you're telling us incredible. that the tournaments are getting booked already tournaments are getting booked i mean tens it's probably i think the number i heard was 40 tournaments have already wow. been booked yeah from everything from softball to kickball to you know whatever they can do on those on those fields. So that means food, money in the yes. restaurants, uh -huh. money in the hotels. Hotel, motel tax. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It is. It's it, it's a boost. Yeah. Anything we can bring in tourism wise. Yes. And I would consider those tournament stops as tourism. Yeah. Because that's oh, outside absolutely. money coming in. So yeah. it's fantastic. I'm just I'm really excited about it. The video is great. You know it it it's going to look really cool. We're stepping up to a lot of other 
We're stepping up to a lot of other cities that have already done That's this. That's correct. Well, long gone are the weekends where parents just hang at home. Usually <laughs> you are yeah. pollen in the kids in yeah. an SUV and yeah. you are headed to some sports mania. Friday night so, you're on the road because uh-huh. you got a Saturday morning game well, somewhere. Well, that's exciting, Chris. We are Thanks excited. for sharing that with yeah. us. You that's bet. what I love about the city space. It kind of, I had no idea that was going See, on. I didn't either. We there live we and go. learn, don't yep. we? I'm well, excited. We're going to swing for the fences. Okay. <laughs> they, did on that one. they did swing for the fences. On and that one. now you know. Now you know. <laughs> I love it. Well, thanks for the knowledge. No, thank you. And thank God for the weather yes. getting better. Yes. Because earlier this, man, it was Ooh. nasty. Yeah, I didn't like it all. But warm and cozy again. And forget the firewood. You don't need yep. it. You don't need it anymore. Don't light a fire. It's 60 <laughs> degrees outside. And it's gorgeous. We love it. It was a great day. Hey, Super Bowl's right around the corner. One week from Get today. Ready. We will. Uh, we'll have to, well, should we talk about who we're taking, make your Super Bowl picks oh. now? We're going to have to. Ooh. We're going to have to. Yeah. It's Kansas City uh-huh. and uh, Philadelphia. That's yeah. right. Philadelphia, both the number one seeds in the AFC and the NFC, uh-huh. made to the Super Bowl. Yep. Um, so I can tell you who I want. Jackie, make Kansas the first City. pick. Kansas City. Yeah, huge Cowboys fan over here. Can't go for the Eagles. That's I know, right. I, I can't exactly either. Right. i got to go Chiefs. Yeah. Yep. But what's neat is two Texas boys are quarterbacks, right. and it's the first time that we have had two black quarterbacks starting in the Super Bowl, yep. which That's a lot of people cool. said it's about time. Yes. Yep. So good deal. A lot of firsts, a lot of fun. I'm excited. Me Absolutely. too. I'm excited. The wow. nachos are going to flow. <laughs> yes, I know. Pizza. Are. What, I heard the other day. The commercials. Meat, I heard the other day meatballs were the number one Super Bowl food in America. The meatballs. Meatballs. Just those little. Over nachos. Those little and pizza? sweet. Yeah, because they're easy. Everybody. You put those meatballs, uh, everybody makes I would fight that. Them. I would fight that. Well, I don't know who did them. I cannot believe that a meatball would overdo pizza it was and probably, nachos. Well, you put meatball on the pizza. Yeah. There was probably, <laughs> it was probably a meatball company that did the survey, but that's what I heard. I heard it on the radio. I don't know. All righty. I don't know how accurate it is. I'm there just you saying. are. I guess nachos. I was screaming nachos because I make nachos every year. Yeah. Because I love them. Oh, yeah. Well, so don't I don't we know. all? <laughs> I don't know. All righty. Well, that was a great show. It was. I had a lot of fun. We talked about a lot of stuff. Yes. Idea WF, Mm -hmm. right? A little bit of softball. Jeannie was great. Softball. Super Bowl picks are in. Let's wrap it. Yeah. We're all picking for Kansas City. We're all picking for Kansas City. Go Chiefs. Go Chiefs. All right. Thank you for joining us. (laughs) We will see you next Sunday back here with another exciting social space. We'll have somebody in the hot seat, and we'll talk about something cool in the city, too. That's right. See ya.